It's been 45 years since the world's strongest man first graced our TV screens. And in that time, we've seen an interesting mix of events from the super heavy plane pulls to the cheese deadlift and the ding carry. So today, we're gonna take a very quick look at every single one of them. Where it all started. We go back all the way to 1977 for the first ever event at World's Strongest Man, and it was the barrel lift. Next is a classic strongman event that led to some nasty looking injuries, the bar bend. One of the stranger events from the early years of strongman that didn't stand the test of time was the wrist roll. The first ever race that we saw at the World's Strongest Man was in the form of a wheelbarrow carry. Another event that we didn't see beyond the first couple of competitions was the tire toss. The first pulling event at Worlds was a tram pull and just one of the athletes ended up under the wheels. We've had many max deadlift events at the World's Strongest Man from various different heights. We've had the silver dollar, progressively heavier cars, barrels, and my personal favorite, the cheese deadlift. One max event that we haven't seen at Worlds since the 90s is the max squat. And in past years, these would usually be performed on a Smith machine. And again, the weights weren't exactly standardized. The fridge carry was an event that was resigned to the history books and probably with good reason. It was the scene of the first serious accident at Worlds when Franco Colombo became trapped under the fridge with his leg pointing in the wrong direction. The tug of war used to be the final event in the early days of Strongman, but we haven't seen it at Worlds since 1995. The Caber Toss is a classic Highland Games event and has been used at the World's Strongest Man five times between the 70s and the 90s. Another event that's been relegated to the World's Strongest Man of yesteryear is the Vertical Lift, which hasn't featured in the competition since 2001. The weight throw was the OG Strongman throwing event and would be for either max weight or max height. One event that stood the test of time is the max log. And while today's logs are perfectly balanced and engineered, the logs used in the early days looked like they still had squirrels living in them. One of the most popular events at Worlds that regularly makes its way into both the group stages and the final is the truck pull. The front hold isn't the best test of overall strength, but it's cropped up several times at Worlds, from the early days of the sausage hold to most recently in 2021, where the athletes had to complete the pickaxe hold. The loading race used to be a classic closing event after the producer stopped using the tug of war, but nowadays it's a classic opening event, with the athletes having to load a variety of weird and wonderful implements. Strongmen wrestling was probably never the best idea, but it provided us with some iconic moments in the sport when a hurt and terrifying Kaz scared his opponents out the ring. The farmer's walk is regularly seen at Worlds, sometimes as a standalone event and often part of a medley. The rock press is a classic test of strength, dating back hundreds of years, and it's been performed at the World's Strongest Man seven times. The sled push only featured once, as it's not often we see the competition held in colder climates. And as fun as it was to watch, once was probably enough. The floor press was an interesting take on the bench press, where strong men would lie on the floor and press a log for max weight. And like the sled push, it's an event we never saw again. Arm wrestling at Worlds turned out to be a terrible idea when Mega Man's arm was snapped when he went up against experienced arm wrestler Magnus Samuelsson. We've seen many medleys at Worlds and they often involve a mix of loading, tire flipping, wheelbarrow racing, farmers, yoke, duck walk and dragging. The arm over arm pull is similar to the vertical lift and athletes have pulled all types of vehicles over the years, including cars, trains, planes and boats. The crucifix hold is similar to the front hold, except in the crucifix hold, implements are held to the side to resemble, well, a crucifix. Another event that we only saw once at Worlds was the swingle tree, which essentially was mass wrestling. The carry and drag is exactly what you'd expect, 
Athletes carry an implement and then drag something big and nasty, often a chain, an anchor, or sometimes both. The McGlashan Stones first featured at Worlds in 1988 and were used a total of five times until they were eventually swapped out for the Atlas Stones. The car flip is definitely one of the cooler looking strongman events, but we haven't seen it since 1998 when a car rolled back and crushed Mark Philippi's leg. The stone to shoulder was completed for reps using a McGlashan stone, and despite the popularity of stones at Worlds, we only saw it one time in 1989. The cart carry was a dodgy old version of the Conan Circle, except instead of a weighted pivot point in the middle, a member of staff had to weigh it down instead. The most beautiful of all lifts. The back lift has unfortunately only been completed once at World's Strongest Man, where in 1990, the athletes attempted to lift up a boat. Possibly one of the strangest strongman events ever was the gravel shovel from 1990's World's Strongest Man. And a controversial event from the 1990 show was the backload carry, which was a 200 meter sprint with the strongmen carrying 100 kilograms of bricks on their back. Needless to say, we never saw it again. One of the most impressive looking events has to be the plane pull, a feat of strength that looks like it shouldn't physically be possible. The Husafel stone carries another classic manhood test and was popular at Worlds through the 90s. Moving away from max log, we started to see incline log for reps, with strong men racking up as many as 22 repetitions. Hideous. The pole push was a wrestling style event with the athletes trying to push each other out of a box. But like all the other combat style events, it didn't stand the test of time. Another cool looking event is the car walk, where the athletes Fred Flintstone their way up the course. The Hercules hold is a pretty iconic looking grip event. And while we're used to seeing the pillars now, the first time we saw it at Worlds, the strong men were holding up two heavy barrels. There's a reason the general public automatically think of the Atlas Stones when you mention Strongman. The event has featured at Worlds 47 times across the groups and final, which is more than any other event. The Atlas Stone walk is exactly as described. The strong men pick the stone up and walk with it. It's hard to believe an event as common as the log lift for reps wasn't around from the very beginning, but it wasn't until 1994 that we saw it at World's Strongest Man. A less common event was the slot machine carry, which was a race to the line, but the athlete who carried it the furthest without dropping it was the winner, regardless of who won the race. Bit confusing, and unsurprisingly, it didn't return. Cars are pretty light for a strong man to pull, so in the car pull, the athletes had to tow six of them at the same time. Murder ball is the stuff of strongman folklore, with athletes trying to push the other strongman out of a circle using a heavy globe. It really was a thing of beauty. The super yoke was first seen at Worlds in 1995 and remains a popular event throughout the sport today. The Bavarian lift was a max event similar to a deficit deadlift. It was a pretty cool looking event, but we only got to see it at Worlds the one time in 1995. The Conan's wheel, Basque circle, or circle of strength as it was sometimes called, was a walk for distance with the weight crushing down on your arms and chest. Nasty. While a popular spectator event, the tire flip probably claimed more biceps than the rest of the events put together. The deadlift hold became a popular choice at Worlds from the mid 90s onwards, and the event made a return to the show in the 2019 final. The Flintstone barbell was a cool looking behind the neck lift, and it made a return to the Worlds in the 2022 final. The duck walk. Worst event ever. The leg press is a popular gym lift, but only made its way into the world stage once in 1996. The tractor pull is just like a truck pull, except with a tractor. Another event that we saw return in 2022 World's Strongest Man is the Power Stairs, which first appeared at Worlds in 1996. After the weight throw, the keg toss became a more popular throwing event, usually with strongmen throwing a series of progressively heavier kegs for time, 
but sometimes for max height too. The deadlift for reps has taken many forms at Worlds, from the barrel loading frame to a car deadlift and a conventional bar. While we didn't see it at the competition until 1997, it's an event that's been used consistently ever since. The winch featured just once at Worlds in 1998 and was a unique twist on pulling a truck. The Viking Press is an overhead lift that allows athletes to put some pretty cool looking implements overhead. The Africa Stone was a carry for distance like the Husafell Stone, except possibly unsurprisingly, it was shaped like Africa. The Axle Press is another overhead lift and has always been completed for reps the six times we've seen it at Worlds. The Fingles Fingers has been a fan favourite since it first appeared in the year 2000 and since then it's appeared 20 times across the heats and the finals. The carry and flip was either a farmer's yoke or duck walk into a tyre flip and it was popular in the early noughties. The squat for reps unbelievably didn't appear at Worlds until 2001 and just like the deadlift it's taken a few different forms with the most popular being the barrel load squat or the big globes. Another vehicle pull that's hard to believe is possible is the train pull. They're pulling trains for God's sakes. The flip and drag is a tire flip into a heavy pull. One of the many reasons that conditioning is important. Another take on the carry for distance was the shield carry, which athletes had to complete in 2002. The log medley or log ladder is a series of progressively heavier logs that athletes have to lift as quickly as possible. Overhead medleys are a more interesting twist on an overhead event and have consisted of dumbbells, barbells, axles and logs. The safe lift is another overhead event, this time where the weights are swinging from the bar and trying to take you out. The Ding Carry was a painful looking carry for distance which featured in the 2005 World's Strongest Man in Sanya. Another pulling event, this time the bus pull. Sometimes with passengers. The Dumbbell Press has become increasingly popular in recent years and has featured seven times in the competition. The Block Press is an awkward overhead that was used just twice at Worlds before vanishing without a trace. The frame carry has been a standalone event at Worlds five times now, but has also been used in mixed events such as the Giants Medley. The Natural Stones were a refreshing alternative to the Atlas Stones when they appeared in the 2012 final. Worlds, please bring them back. Please. The Circus Barbell is old school cool and was used in both the 2015 and 2016 World's Strongest Man. The kettlebell throw was completed just like the keg toss, with athletes throwing a series of progressively heavier kettlebells over a set height. The Norse hammer was similar to the Fingles fingers, except they were much heavier and they had a hammerhead on the end. Not a fan. Just like the Africa stone, the elephant carry was a carry for distance, except the weight was in the shape of an elephant head, complete with trunk. The last man standing stones were introduced in place of the standard stone run in the heats. The bottom two athletes in a heat would pass the stone back and forth until one dropped out. Then the next guy would jump in. It was a brutal way to have to claw your way into the final. The bullion toss was just like the kettlebell throw and the keg toss, except the athletes were throwing gold bullions. World's strongest man getting flashy. The stone off was introduced to replace the last man standing and the strong man in second and third place would go head to head lifting stones as many times as possible. The train push was used in the group stages of the 2021 World's Strongest Man and was the first time we saw a standalone vehicle push at Worlds. The Titans turntable also featured in 2021 and the athletes had to push a train on its turntable. After a period of time featuring very few pushes, 2021 had all the pushes. The deadlift ladder was used in the group stages at the 2022 World's Strongest Man and was a fun twist on an otherwise fairly conventional event. And finally, the Wrecking Ball Hold, which was a grip test in the 2022 group stages. 
Rumour has it Mark Felix is still up there. So there we have it guys, 91 different events, and that's not even including the similar events like the medleys or the deadlifts which we've grouped together. Yeah, so things like the medleys, they're all using events that we've gone through here. They were just in different combinations and different orders. So Auntie Liz, 91 events from the very beginning, 1977, the latest event, 2022. Do you have any other facts for us? Of course. <laughs> so like you said, 91 different events that we've seen. 31 of them have never been seen again, so they only ever featured once. Unsurprisingly, the most commonly featured event was the Atlas Stone. So we've seen that 47 times across both the group and final, but that's not even including the times that we've seen it um, as a stone off or last man standing. Natural stones only once. This is a travesty. Someone needs to write to World's Strongest Man. Do you have any favourite events, Lozzie? Oh, there's been some epic events over the years. Obviously, things like a plane pull just looks absolutely awesome. I love the car walks. I think seeing a man inside a car, picking it up and running down, Fred Flintstone style, just looks super cool. The car flip, although dangerous, it is one that visually is so cool. And you guys know me by now, I want to see another backlift at World's Strongest Man. So you haven't asked, but my favourites are obviously the gravel shovel, <laughs> murder ball, and the sausage hold. What a spicy event that one ended up being. And this is why World's Strongest Man should never ask Auntie Liz what events to do at the competition. Right guys, there you have it. 91 events at World's Strongest Man. Which was your favourites? Comment below, let us know what you'd like to see again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>